studying the nervous system from medicine, doing a night duty in the obstetrics and gynecology department, being the luckiest intern alive, and teaching my juniors all in this one video. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Anish Pachel and welcome back to my channel. I'm an intern at GMC Nagpur and speaking about internship, today I've joined the obstetrics and gynecology unit at GMC Nagpur. So during internship, we are rotated everywhere from place to place. And now for the next four weeks, which is my last posting of internship, I'll be in Opsan Gaini. What an amazing way to end the internship. For the last two weeks, I was in labor room where we were just conducting deliveries from 9 to 2. Now I'm in the unit, that means we'll be attending the OPDs, the wards, and of course the labor rooms. We'll also have night shifts and we'll have a ton of fun doing all the work that is given to us. Today I've got a night duty, therefore I'm at home. Anyways, I've got an entire day to myself before the night actually arrives. And I've got a lot of work to do. So let's start doing that. And we're starting with pasting the newsletter on the newsletter wall. There you go, the third edition is also now pasted on the wall. This is my newsletter that I'm posting every week on Instagram. So first thing is first, I've got to make a timetable for the upcoming classes that I'm taking for CNS of Medicine. So I started this thing called as Mastering Clinicals, where we take offline case-based discussions for medical students of Nagpur, especially for the third and final year MBBS students who have practicals as a very important part. And even though the postings do teach them quite a great amount of cases, there's always some doubt and there is always some sort of anxiety when asking questions to the teacher. So Mastering Clinicals sort of bridges that gap between the student to the teacher and it's just a case-based discussion between seniors and juniors. So I'm the person who will be writing the cases and telling them how to present them, what are the main viva questions that they, the examiners expect us to answer and how are certain examinations performed and what are the correct order of things that you should be doing while taking a case. I hope that was not too complicated. We conducted a Mastering Clinicals workshop for surgery back in October in 2023 and it was fantastic. It was an excellent response. People loved it. So I'm back with Mastering Clinicals for medicine for CNS because CNS is my favorite topic in medicine. And that's what actually I'm going to be studying in this video. And now I have to draft a complete timetable with all the cases and try to study the theory part as well. By the way, if you are enjoying videos such as this one, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. Before we go ahead though, I know that a lot of you guys are interested in USMLE and are definitely thinking about it. How do I know that? Well, because you like this video which I made. And it was a 50 minute video just about USMLE. Well, of course, why wouldn't you be? The average doctor in the USA earns roughly from $200,000 to $500,000 every year. The USA has also got the state of the art technology as well as the best guidelines for treating and managing diseases. I think every med student goes through this phase of considering USMLE as an option. And this is why I bought the first aid, which you are seeing over here. Some grow out of it, some actually continue it, and some actually go ahead and become doctors in the USA. But if you are serious, then this one resource which I'm about to tell you will change the entire game. It's called Academically. So Academically provides you with courses based for USMLE. That will help you by having live classes on different subjects that are asked upon in the examination. They've also got free one-on-one -on -one sessions, courses for preparation for the English examinations that we have to give, and also extremely high yield questions. Academically will boost your USMLE journey prep, not just by helping you study, but also also supporting you throughout the entire process. And if you're not in for USMLE, Academically also has got courses for settling in Australia, UK and other countries. All the material including the courses are made by industry leading experts with many years of experience. And there are already so many people trying out Academically. So I've added a link in the description. You can go check it out if you are serious for the examination. I've also added a link for my 50 minute video about USMLE. I just finished designing the schedule for the people that are going to be attending the Mastering Clinicals workshop. And now I got a call from a delivery guy and there's this amazing amazing parcel which is coming and I'm going to show you what it is. What I'm going to show you is this logo. Uh, as you can see that this logo is pretty cool and this was completely generated by AI. So this is completely AI generated. It made like a couple of other ones as well. But as you can see over here, AI is going to take a lot of the design jobs away in the future. And the main reason is back in 2018, 19, 20, if you had to do this, I would have spent probably like one hour just designing this logo myself in Photoshop. And it would have been quite a lot of hectic and is just not nahi bana rata. So I think that uh, AI is really helping us at times, but it's going, going to be difficult for the designers and the video editors to be very honest. That is the natural progression of things. People say that don't support AI, but kab tak nahi support karoge? it's inevitable. It's like, it's like Thanos, right? So the next thing on my list is I have to work on some scripts for the videos. So again, what Saraj kaam hai. We have got a parcel. It's a special one.
It's a new MacBook Air M3 edition. The unboxing experience of Apple products is literally quite amazing. It does not get better than it. I'm working on a big project and the additional computing power was absolutely needed and that's why the new M3 MacBook Air. I'll reveal what the project is very very soon just after it's completed. After setting up the new device, I went to sleep for about 2 hours because when you do that your night shift goes really pleasant and you're about to hold focus for a lot more time. And just like that it was time for me to go to my duty. Hey everyone, so it's currently 8.45 and I've got my night duty starting at roughly 9.15 so I'm making my way over to the GMC Nagpur. So now let me take you a night duty in Obzan Gynae department in unit 1 where the patient load is going to be low because we are in the gynecology ad day not the obstetric ad day in which we have to conduct like so many labors all night. So yes, it is a pretty laborous task if I might say so myself. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm in the ward and immediately I'm told to do some sampling. So that's what I'm going to do. It's currently 9.15 exactly my time to reach out. So sampling shuru karte. So we have to make the pathoforms which are this like, like this and we have to use the bulbs to write all the details of the patient on the bulbs. And then we can begin our sampling. Always wear gloves or double gloves whenever you can. And just like that, the sampling is done. It took me 30 minutes. So, a few minutes sample. So, time lagta nahi kalaga. But yes, so this is the first job that I did for the night. We can then dispatch the samples to CCL, which is the central clinical lab. It has micro, patho, and biochem. So, this is our CCL. Different places as different specialties. Those would be the ICUs. Hello everyone, hi. So it's currently uh, two hours in to the duty and we have done sampling, we have done vitals, we have read the FHS, we have done the BB charting, we have dispatched some of the samples and now we've got a moment to breathe. Usually this is not the case in night duties, but yeah, sometimes nights are chill and I'm all for that. This is sort of the residence room that we've got. Our hospital is an ancient one. It's at the same time very modern also. We've got Maharashtra's first, uh, you know, Da Vinci system installed in GMC Nagpur for the robotic surgery, of course. But at the same time, certain rooms in the hospital look like they were constructed 20 years ago because actually work. So yes, I'll keep on updating you as we go along. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Here to pick up the order, which a resident ordered. So, internship may say awkward kambi hote. But yes, that part and parcel of being an intern, I'm karo resident ke orke. Hello everyone. So, I think I am probably the luckiest intern alive. It's currently 12.15 and my resident just told me that you can go home and sleep. So, I'm back at 5.30. I'm gonna get to sleep in a night duty. That's fantastic in the first place. Second of all, they also gave me ice cream. So yes, that's been it. Going back home, coming back at 5.30. Bye. I always prefer night shifts instead of the day ones. The calming atmosphere in the hospital in the night is strikingly different from the chaos during the daytime. And since I already am a pro at staying up all night, I don't mind the sleeplessness. It's 5 o'clock and I'm back uh, at the campus. In the morning, I got to assist in a delivery which was fantastic and was the highlight of my day. It was also the fastest labor I had ever seen and the baby was a healthy 2.8 kilograms. Everyone, so my posting just ended. It's currently 7.30 and I'm making my way back home. Took a lot of vitals today. So that's like for the last two hours, I've been basically charting every patient. And we have to do it on a regular basis. So not just BP, but also pulse SPO2, their fetal heart rates. So using the Doppler, we do that. It's pretty fun. And I re I'm really, really enjoying Oxygen. I did not expect it to be liking this much. So that's been it. I'm going to go back and start studying after maybe sleeping for one or two hours. Let's go.
Coming back home, I actually did not sleep. I started studying neuroanatomy and took out the screenshots from relevant points that I wanted to share with the people that are going to be attending the classes. I studied for roughly 7 to 8 hours that day. I perfected my own CNS, took out the notes for it, and I was ready to take the class the next day. So good morning everyone, as you can see the weather in Nagpur today is completely windy and cloudy. Uh, yeah, pretty. <laughs> I did not expect this day to be going like this but here we are. So my class is in about 3 hours and I've got to study a little bit of neurology. Yesterday I spent almost uh, the entire evening just going through the different textbooks and capturing images which I'm about to show to the people uh, who are going to be attending. So far we've got roughly 40 registrations. Let's see how many of them actually turn up inside my room. I also went ahead and bought some awards for them. Awards always serve as a great motivation to study. So that was my thinking behind it. Now I'm just going to study the CNS medicine part by myself and be prepared to answer the questions and explain to them how do we do the CNS examination and what are all the things relevant to neuroanatomy. One tip that I would like to give to any of the students who will be studying neurology this year or this semester or whatever is never consider neurophysiology and neuroanatomy as two separate things. They are always one and the same thing. If you are reading about the internal capsule in anatomy, go ahead and read about the functions of the corticospinal tract in neurophysiology. They are always connected. You cannot read one thing separately from the another one. So always, always study neuroanatomy neurophysiology together. That's what I did yesterday. I studied neurophysio, then I did neuroanatomy. The book which I used was Snellen's Neuroanatomy. And then I used uh, Kumar and Clark's medicine to study the medicine part of physiology uh, for the CNS section. Now I'm just going to use Hutchinson as the main source for clinical medicine ke kuch notes and prepare myself for giving a lecture. So yes, that's been it. Finally, the day was here. Today was going to be my first class for mastering clinicals and the day was very, very windy. I had been studying since the morning and as you can see, the weather was very supportive. It was calm and pleasant but at the same time also cooling. And my desk setup kind of looked aesthetic. If you're studying neurology, then you should remember these few things. We always try to visualize the cross sections of the brains in the two dimensional space. But if you look at it in a three dimensional way, it is going to be changing your entire perspective. If you always think about the internal capsule, like just a two dimensional thing, it won't really make sense to you when you think about stroke. Instead, if you think about it as a bunch of fibers traversing through the brain into the brainstem, then a blood supply issue happening. That would make a lot more sense to you. So the best advice for anybody doing neurology is don't visualize it in a 2D space, think about it in terms of 3D. It's gonna make the connections, the associations and the workflow of the CNS very very easy for you. Use good books and they will have the appropriate diagrams for you to visualize this. And if you don't have those books, you can go on the internet and go to a different website which let you try out anatomy models for free. Finally at 5.30 my class started, we brushed up over the basics and then we dipped down into the CNS examination. Right from higher mental functions to motor system to sensory system to cerebellum to gait and meningeal irritation, we did it all. It took 3 hours but the students were all attentive till the end. My class just ended and we had an amazing time discussing CNS, neurophysiology, neuroanatomy and medicine. I love the CNS part, it's really well integrated and what can I say, the response was so much more than I imagined. Everybody really loved the class, that's what the general feedback was. The thing was, this class was almost impossible for me to take because I was placed in unit 1 of OBG that is supposed to be the heaviest. I took almost all the night duties that are available, even two consecutive days of holy I'm gonna have a night shift and I could have just made up in my mind, no, it's not possible for me to take this class. That reading about final year and cases and all of that it is so behind me I should probably sit down and study for internship I could have thought that but instead I changed my mindset to thinking that this would be such an incredible opportunity for me to revisit the old concepts and to share my knowledge and share my experience with my juniors that would help them incredibly because if somebody did that same thing for me I would be so grateful sometimes in life you have to have that risk taking ability where you have to decide against all odds that I'm going to do something and in the end no matter the result you are going to feel wonderful because you did something and you should be proud of it and I guess that's what the sign pluripotential 
important means that's placed on my wall that's placed over my heart that means be whatever you want to be and differentiate into any cell that you want moments like this make me really feel like my mbbs journey has been totally worth it just because i'm able to share everything that i learned with so many people in other news we are going to hit 1 million very soon so i just want to say a heartfelt thank you to everybody who has subscribed number should not be our end goal a number as big as a million is very hard to ignore anyways i think that's going to be it from my side in this video please make sure to like the video and also subscribe the channel and if you watch till the end you should definitely comment down we are pluripotent and i'll know that you have watched till the end with that message my friends i wish you all the best and love you 3000 goodbye